Hi, we'll talk to, uh, together about uh, character development and immersion. So, you're going to this LARP and you want to have an awesome character. The key ingredient is preparation, preparation, preparation. The LARP about the French Revolution requires from participants diving into the times of uncertainty, the end of the world as the people at the time know it. They knew that the change is inevitable, but they couldn't yet imagine how to approach it. Losing the ground under their feet, nobody knew what tomorrow will bring. In the LARP, The Fall of Ancien Regime, we ask participants to move back in time to find those settings in the times of French Revolution. May 1789, the Estates General Assembly has begun to start the sequence of events that brought upon us the French Revolution. Participants are playing historical characters, Danton, Robespierre, Condorcet, and many others. Participants can check how they looked like, their ideas, professions, brief biography. What they have to do is imagine how those characters could approach social conflict, polarization, radicalization of not only the third estate, but also privileged states that are trying to protect their position or to protect the world as they know it, being afraid of what the future might bring. This game is a fantastic opportunity to relate those times to the current ones regarding chosen issues. Climate change, pandemic, current polarization situations. The LARP requires good immersion, guaranteed by a proper work on the characters. When you build your character, Think of these things. First of all, backstory. You should have as rich and interesting backstory as possible because you want to give it a real life feeling to this character. It's also a good thing, and it also helps with immersion, if you bond as much as possible with uh, your allies in the game. Maybe from the beginning, you know who is a family member, an ally, member of a faction. Uh, try to bond as much as with them as possible. Also, think how your character feels, how it feels to be in his skin. Um, maybe your character walks differently or speaks differently. Maybe they have a hump and then you have to walk like this for the whole of the LARP. Or maybe uh, they are a very rigid character with strong principles and they walk like this. Maybe they have a squeaky little voice or they speak very strong because they are a very strong character. Um, this is also important. And now, with immersion, it's very good to try to be as immersed as possible. Uh, for example, try to sit around the, the campfire or around the meeting room, whatever the LARP team is, and say chit-chat about your beliefs, about the religion in the game, current events in the game, to keep things as immersed as possible. However, if you're not feeling immersed, if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by what is happening, it's okay to uh, just retreat a bit to the off area, take 10 minutes to recompose yourself and try to reconnect with your character. If you're having an emotional issue, talk to somebody who is especially there for that. Do not forget about character cards. They are very important for the players to know who their characters are. So there are different types of character cards. You can go for like a written description where you've got the name, the history of the character, objectives, anything like that. But you can also go for a picture, a music video, whatever. Things that you should do are to make the character card really clear, really straightforward and readable and make it interesting. There are also things you shouldn't do. So overloading the character card with information. Think about motivation, the motivations of your character, your uh, personal goals, who you were before you came in the LARP, also little quirks. What are your fears? What are your um, personal hobbies during the LARP? For example, if you have an irrational fear of birds, you may walk like this to see in the sky there's a bird. Anything which will make the LARP more playful for other characters, don't forget to have fun in the LARP.